very exciting vlog worthy day because not only is my mom in town she's here visiting me in Berlin but she and I decided to take a day trip so we're actually here in Potsdam now Potsdam is not too far from Berlin it took us about maybe an hour on the S-Bahn uh, there might even be actually more efficient ways to get here but the train we took was the S7 took about an hour and then we got a bus just to get us a bit closer to the area where we're going to be checking out some palaces <laughs> We had a nice little lunch and now we're arriving here at Sans Souci, which is essentially, I would say, the main thing that people come here to see in Potsdam. And I've been to Potsdam once before, but I didn't actually go inside. So this time we've made sure to get tickets ahead of time. You can buy them here, but we figured maybe we'll get to skip any sort of line situation. We'll see. But uh, we did get a specific time and it is now. So hopefully we're not late. <laughs> We just finished up touring the inside of Sans Souci Palace. It took us just under an hour. There are 12 rooms and it's an audio guide. So you hear a little bit of the history and why each room is decorated the way that it is. If you're gonna come here, I highly recommend booking your ticket online. We did not knowing that it was maybe gonna be necessary. We kind of just thought, eh, might as well. Um, but then when I just went into the ticket office, all of the slots up until maybe four or five in the afternoon were completely full. So book your ticket online. The one we got was 19 euro and it allows you to go into almost all of the palaces today. So hopefully we'll get to see some other ones now. <laughs> While I'm here, I wanted to give you a little bit of the history of Potsdam and also explain some of the significance of all the things that I'm showing you. So Potsdam is a city, it's not a town, and it's the capital of Brandenburg, which is the state just next to Berlin. So we're not actually in Berlin, even though it's a very easy train ride to get here from the capital of Germany. Probably the most famous thing to see here in Potsdam is Sans Souci Palace, which is right over there. <laughs> it was built by Prussian King Frederick the Great in the mid 1700s in a shockingly fast two years. That's, that's all it took to build whole palace. The name Sans Souci is French, it means without a care or without a worry, and it uh, references the fact that this palace was his summer home. So he came here just to relax and read and make art and um, not really do too much hard work, I, I, I get the sense. <laughs> there is definitely a strong French connection here, not just because the name Sans Souci is French, but also because in a lot of ways this was considered sort of Germany's response to Versailles. So it is definitely smaller, it's certainly not as famous, but you can see a connection here that's really interesting and of course really beautiful. There are many, many palaces here, so I don't know if we're gonna get to all of them. I think we probably won't, even though our ticket allows us to get into most of them. There's one or two or maybe three that aren't included in the ticket we got, but we're gonna try to see as many as we have energy to get into. And I think the next one is the picture gallery. Right now we are walking past the Chinese house, which is one of the many palaces here. And it's so beautiful, but unfortunately we can't go inside because it's closed at the moment. There's a field of sheep. I feel like I'm in Ireland again. <laughs> We 
we've arrived here at the new palace, which we've decided is gonna be our last stop of the day. Not because we've seen everything, but because we're just too tired to keep visiting palaces. <laughs> Still, I feel pretty good about three. That's, that's not a bad amount of palaces to see in one day. Like Sanssouci, the new palace was built by Frederick the Great, but this one was built at the end of the Seven Years' War to commemorate Prussia's success. Just leaving the new palace now. I think we might have been the last guests of the day because they were kind of rushing us out at the end there. But it was really cool. We still got to see everything. And um, now I think it's time for some ice cream. So I'm hoping we can track some down. <laughs> We made it back to Berlin. It was a bit dramatic because we realized that we didn't want to have to go all the way back to the S-Bahn, which is how we got to Potsdam. Instead, we wanted to take the regional train, which was only an eight minute walk away from where we were, but it was leaving in seven minutes and uh, it only leaves once an hour. So we sprinted, we made it, but we were very sweaty on the ride home. <laughs> we did make sure to stop for some uh, German soda on the way back, but we're here now and it's still daylight because it's Berlin summer. So I think we have like three more hours of sunshine, which is just so nice. I know that there is so much more to see in Potsdam than we got to today, but still I feel pretty good about going inside three palaces and then, you know, seeing the outside of the fourth. That's not bad. I'm sure that I will be back another time in the future, but in the meantime, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I know I say that all the time, but it really does mean so much to me that you care. So thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.